Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome back to Cannon Fodder, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world. Yeah, Tuesday show over here. And was it the fourth, the fourth of July? So everyone who's watching from the United States, I want to wish you a, a happy Fourth of July, Independence Day for you lot over there across the uh, the channel, uh, the, the Atlantic, the Atlantic state side anyway, at least. But um, it's 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 not often that we can choose a diamond in the rough. It doesn't happen often that a coach can choose a diamond in the rough. Now I was reminded by my um my consultant, that Kai Havertz might be the signing of the century. I was thinking, well, going by the stats that he has there, he's going to have to be, and he's going to have to go with some as well, because I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced. But we've got Kai Havertz, uh, some news. We've got some serious news in regards to Declan Rice, and some little some kind of sad news in regards to Albert Sam Laconga. I think you know where I'm going with this one. But we're going to get into this one on the other side of this music intro. Yes, indeed. Welcome back to Cannon Fodder, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world. The Tuesday show will be here. We're one step closer to the end of the uh, transfer window. No, no, we haven't even reached the, the halfway mark on this one. No, we haven't. We have we've still got a long way to go. But um, what you can do without further ado, people, is make sure that you just, just click the like button on Cannon Fodder TV. Just do not worry about subscribing. You know, I mean, a click on the like, just goes a long way subscribe doesn't go too far doesn't go too far so just click the like button also come into the live chat i can see that amit is the first one in hope he's not going to be the first one out come into the live chat let me know your thoughts about kai habits is he the best thing since sliced bread i'm not convinced i am not convinced uh again yeah i heard some news about uh declan rice but we're going to get into that one just in a few seconds um, just give you guys a quick heads up what's going to be happening within the next few days. So today is Tuesday. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Ha! Ah! Yes. Um, just expect a lot more of the same, actually. A lot more of the same coming uh, right back at you. Uh, we're always grateful for the viewers that we have, you know, day in, day out. Even when I'm not going live, I still see some of the player profile segment that I haven't, I haven't done anything yet for more than a year actually but it's good to see people are like chipping in and watching those videos there i did what two years ago two three years ago featuring players who have not played for arsenal for more than i say 30 40 and sometimes 50 years ago so thank you for that but it's going to be more of the same yeah you know where are we we're in the midst of transfer news that's where we are the silly season anyway anyway <laughs> let's get into this one shall we uh i've got my new my, my new i've got my laptop back thank goodness for that so i think what we're going to talk about let's talk about uh, this player here uh kai havertz now the new segment that i've chosen is, um arsenal fans were concerned around nick Water to play a new sign kai havertz in the midfield have been somewhat uh elevated following a video an old emergence of an old video now kai havertz is 24 was confirmed as Arsenal's latest sign last week, arriving from Chelsea. And then it's six, 65 million pound, actually 70 million pound deal because 65 plus five million pounds in add-ons. Uh, there has been much discussion around where he will fit in Arteta's side, given the front three, uh, Jesus, Gabby Jesus, Bakai Saka and Martinelli would appear to be nailed on starters. It has been mooted that Havertz, who struggled to establish himself in any one position at Stamford Bridge, could take Gabriel, uh, Gabriel, uh, um, Grant Shackers a uh, place in the midfield. That's not going to happen. Now, following his arrival, Arteta said, Kai is a player of top quality. He has great versatility and is an intelligent player. He will bring huge amount of extra strength to our midfield and variety to our play. Now, this is an area of, of the pitch he has not utilised in for uh, Chelsea, as he mainly led the line or played off the striker. And the prospect of him attempting to dictate the, mid the middle of the park has been concerning for some Arsenal fans. 
But some of those worries subsided following the emergence of a video showing Havertz in the central midfield for by Leverkusen. The two and a half minutes of montage taken from a, a, a 6-2 win of a, wait, it's so long time ago, 2018. I, I wouldn't even worry about that. I wouldn't worry about that. But what I did do, I saw um, uh, a video in regards to another platform. I'm not going to mention their name, but the, the, the content they do is of, of a high quality. There's no way that we're going to reach their level of high quality because it's different. They talk about, you know, you know the stats of a player or players, why players fit certain clubs and why they don't fit certain clubs. We, we don't do that. <laughs> we don't do that in Canon for your TV. But um, I saw the video. It's not more than eight minutes. And they outline why. Actually, this video is two weeks old. It's a two-week-old video. And they kind of highlighted why Mikko Arteta would have gone in for Kai Havertz. You look at the stats. Let me just quickly remove this, this here. Pow. It's gone. Right? So you need to concern yourself more about the green lines, not the yellows or even the red lines there. So you see shots created, actions progressive passes, carries, tackles, interceptions, and blocks. Those are the lines that Arteta was more concerned about. When I saw this video on this platform, they were saying, listen, he's in, in the midfield where he can interchange with a Gabriel Jesus, one in, one out, like a pendulum. And you got him bearing down on goal. The one concern will be that he's not the greatest of finishers. And I know that. I know that. You just look at his stats. But where the passage of play comes in, beating the press, the blocked interceptions, and creating opportunities and assists, that's where your eyes should be looking. Not so much about him scoring goals. And I'm still not, I've got to say, I'm still not convinced. The stats, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's great, but I'm looking at one part where when he does get the opportunity to score, he's going to froth his lines because he's not a natural goal scorer. Not a natural goal scorer. So, I don't know, man. The signing of the century, I'm not convinced. I want to see him play. Well, let's see. We'll see him play. And the formation was... Because the formation, well, again, the video was like two weeks ago, and they actually didn't take into account that Thomas Partey might be leaving. So they had Thomas Partey in the midfield, double pivot with, well, who was it? I can't remember who they had in there. But um, the, Kai Habits, we have to wait and see. But I wouldn't hold out on that. I really wouldn't hold out on that. Um, sad news. Sad news. Uh, I don't know if it, is, is it sad news? Well, this player here, Albert Samuel Conga, says that um, he's, um, he's 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 wanting a transfer. The 23-year-old has struggled to make an impact since his 17.2 million pound move from Andelect in 2021, having been unable to secure a regular place in Mikata to sign at the start of the season. Conga was allowed to join Crystal Palace on loan in January transfer window, and now the midfielder has indicated that he's uh, ready to leave Arsenal once again in order to secure regular uh, playing time. When asked about his plans for up-and-coming season on a particular YouTube channel, not ours, Lokonga said, uh, I don't know. I will try to go somewhere where I can play. So that's the most important thing for me, uh, to have some game time and play a uh, game after game. Now, Burnley, apparently, are ready to, uh, kind of keen, apparently, on signing Lokonga uh, this summer. The Vincent Company are uh, keen on being reunited with the midfielder, having managed him at Anderlecht. Now, speaking after Arsenal had signed Lokonga, company ruled that he told Arteta uh, that the club had signed the new Yaya Torre. I was watching football from a different uh, from different countries and I saw Sammy play uh, his uh, first two games for Anderlecht. Then he got a big knee injury, company told another uh, platform. But the first thing I did when I saw Sambi was I went to Mikel and also Pep, but uh, Mikel first. And I said, uh, you've got to watch this guy. He's a new Yaya Torre. And anyways, nothing comes from it. He's, he's got a cruciate ligament injury. And then I end up falling into the management job at Anderlecht. So I'm working with him now. Uh, I had the same conversation with uh, him and uh, Mikel Arteta. And I still believe the same thing now, uh, that he could be the new Yaya Torre. 
I'm not even sure I'm going to uh, do him a favor now if I say this kind of stuff. You know what I like with Sambi, and it's a rare in football. What Yaya did have, if is he wants the ball, no matter what. Team's not doing well. Give the ball to, <laughs> give the ball to Sambi. The team's doing well. Give the ball to Sambi. He will never hide away from his responsibilities. He has uh, things to improve, of course. Uh, if he remembers the conversations we have had, uh, he will know exactly what it's still he needs to work on. But at the same time, the only thing Yaya had, Yaya was also a finisher. And that's a very rare thing to have. Uh, you as a centre-back, uh, your job stop, uh, stops at the, the, the certain point on the ball. You need to be able to give it to people who see um, the next pass, the next move, the take responsibility, take people on or put the, that tempo up uh, when there's no tempo in the game. For me, that is what Sambi has um, that makes him so special. I think, oh my goodness. I'll tell you what, doesn't get any better than that, man. Doesn't get any better. Vincent Company singing his praise. But unfortunately, the player can't see the light at the end of the tunnel at Arsenal Ellis, and he wants a move. Um, I, I, you know what? He, he's right. Insofar as mentioned, you know, Sam Laconga, doesn't matter the situation, he will ask for the ball. Might put himself under pressure. I, mean, I would like to know what parts, as he's spoken about Sam Laconga, that he needs to improve in his game there. But those are the kind of players that you need. When, when people are running, no, 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 don't, don't pass on the ball, man. Don't pass on the ball. Man. You want players who are going to be, you know, commanding the ball. Give me the ball. I will be the one to make the difference. But, oh, what's, happened, what's going to happen to Samuel Conga, man? Would you like to keep Samuel Conga? I don't know. I don't know. Anyhow, uh, the last uh, news segment... Um, is about uh, this this guy here. I tell you what. Oh my goodness. You know, what? let me just read the new segment. Let me read the new segment as it is here, if I can find it. Now, despite having a 105 million pound bid for Declan Rice accepted by West Ham, Arsenal are still yet to get the sign of midfielder Declan Rice officially over the line. Arsenal are close to finalising the deal for Declan Rice after the club set a deadline to get the West Ham captain to the Emirates. After initially seeing two bids rejected, it appeared that Mikko Arteta finally had his man last week as the Gunners had a third offer of £105 million accepted. And that was after Man City kind of came in and then they went out and said hello and goodbye. But the proposed structure of the payments proved a stumbling block with the Hammers reportedly demanding a large amount of the fee up front. And the delay has been enough to play on the nerves of Arsenal fans. Well, not me anyway. Now, with Rice viewed as a pivotal addition that could cement them as Premier League title uh, challengers again next season. Now, uh, the North London club or Arsenal want Rice on, uh, on board by the time they fly to America for their pre-season tour, which is on the 20th of July. Uh, they'll play the first of four games in the US, uh, a clash with uh, MLS All-Stars, but uh, two parties have now made a breakthrough with uh, the Guardian newspaper reporting Arsenal, who originally wanted to spread the payments over five years, agreed to cut the number of instalments. The English International is now expected to complete the medical uh, imminently and be able to board the plane with his new teammates. Well, it can't, you know, it needs to happen sooner rather than later. Because the longer it doesn't happen, you can hear in the murmurings, isn't it? Huh? Oh, is he coming? Is he staying? Is he going? Is he going? What's, what, what's going on? There was, uh, this wasn't the new segment that I was going to talk about. I wasn't going to talk about, I was going to talk about Declan Rice, but from a different perspective. But I thought, you know what, I'm not even going to, you know, entertain that, that, that content there. So I thought, there's a delay, obviously. Uh, but does it mean that, the, the, you know, they're, they're, how can I say this? That he won't sign a contract. I don't believe that's going to be the case. It's just taking a little more time than expected. And I expect Arsenal will get their man eventually. Yes, that's it. All right, people, so um, these have been the new segments. A little bit, I don't know, a little bit off key. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's it. Sam Laconga might be leaving, but he's a player who wants the ball. Give me the ball. We're losing 10-1, give me the ball. God damn it. Oh, dear. And I can't have it. Is he really the player to revolutionise Arsenal? I ask those questions because modern day football and players, 
you know, the money is that's swirling around, it's just so ridiculous. So we're on the verge of signing, maybe or maybe not, a £105 million player in Declan Rice. And then on the heels of that, Kai Havertz, £70 million? They've got to perform and then some. They really have got to. But who am I? What do I know? What do I know? Okay, um, so those have been the new segments coming on, on Tuesday. And you can kind of like, you can join in. You can join in if you want to. You don't have to, but, you know, if you want to, you can. Yeah. <laughs> Come into the live chat and let me know your thoughts about, yeah, Kai Havertz, is he? Declan Rice and Sam Lukonga. Are you happy to see Sam Lukonga leave Arsenal? Or do you think, give him one last chance. One last chance. One last chance. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, okay, so what I need to do now is go into that Twitter feed and see if there's been any comments there. Okay, there's nothing there. Thank you for that, John. Uh, retweeting that we are live. Thank you for that. And now I can go onto the, the YouTube uh, platform and see the latest poll figures. What was the question? I can't remember. No, I know what it was. Marks out of 10 so far for the transfer window. We start at 7. We don't start at 9. We don't start at 10. We don't start at 8. We start at 7 out of 10. So how many marks out of 10 are you giving this transfer window so far? Well, I'll tell you what. We have received over 1,000 votes. Thank you for that. Six comments and 28 likes. I, just, I, I mean, that's less than 0.111%. Yeah, come on, guys. Let's get the votes up. I've never seen over 200 votes. Let's aim for 200 votes on this one. All right? So the question is, marks out of 10 so far for a transfer window. 7 out of 10, 6 out, six out of 10, 5 out of 10, 4, 3, 2, 1. No. And 3 out of 10 is the lowest. So, again, tied on 4% of the votes, it is 3 out of 10 and 4 out of 10. On 9% of the votes, it is... 5 out of 10. So I didn't vote. If I had the opportunity to vote, I would have gone for 5 out of 10. And 16, sorry, 15% of the votes have said that it, they'll give it 6 out of 10 for the, the transfer market so far. And on a whopping 7 out of 10 is 68% of the votes. You guys crazy. You crazy. Yeah, you're crazy, man. All right. Um, so now I can go into live chat. It seems like it's a bit of a slow one, which is okay. Amit, good afternoon, uh, says hello Alex and hello to you, and Wontong, Wontong, brother, what's happening, hey man, what's happening, what's happening, what's happening, what's, what's cooking man, what's cooking, uh, let Sa uh, Sammy go for 20 million, okay, alright, and who are you going to replace him with, who are you going to replace him with, much like we spoke about Thomas Party, if you're going to let him go, he needs replacing, that's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm saying. All right. Uh, 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 uh. Now, someone's just sending a message in regards to Granite Shaka. John Nagizaguna, Granite Shaka is not a legend. Just because somebody else has said it doesn't mean that he is a legend. A fan favourite, yes, but not a legend. Not a legend. <laughs> Rice is cooking, bro. <laughs> Put some one tongue soup on that, man. <laughs> Bubbling for all the right reasons. Arsenal need to get this done. And get it done in a relatively quick time. Because we thought, oh, you know, last week. Nah. No. No. All right. Uh, okay, if there's not any more, I'm going to call this one quits, man. I'm going to call this one quits. So I will end this show. Uh, I, can I do the poll? I can't do a poll there, can I? No, I can't. Oh, my goodness. The ones are technology. Technology. Right. Um, I'm just thinking about what's the next poll question I could have done now. You need to give me some time. Give us some time to think about that one. Right, uh, I, I get the impression that we're going we're gonna to end this one. So just over the 20-minute mark, 
uh, over here, which is good time. Again, I don't want to feel like I'm just chatting and talking for the sake of talking, if because I rely a lot on the interaction in the live chat. And if people are not feeling it, then it is okay. We'll just end the show as it is. Um, so, yeah, on a day that we find out that, you know, Arsenal, they still can't get the Declan Rice still over the line. There's still some finer details. And, again, it doesn't mean that, you know, West Ham are going to walk away from the table. That won't happen. Will it? No, it won't happen. It won't happen. Sam in the Congo. He wants out. He wants out. Yeah, but Vincent Kompany has, you know, said that he's spoken to him many occasions about the things that he needs to improve. But Sam Lekonga, if there's one player who's always asking and begging for the ball, it's Albert Sam Lekonga. Give me the ball! We're losing, but give me the ball! <laughs> and Kai Havertz, the best signing since sliced bread. I'm not convinced. I am not convinced. Anyhow, people, uh, thank you. Thank you to you for joining me over here. Again, it's a short show. I need to get to do some cooking now. And it's raining. It's pouring over here. Uh, but I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. I'm loving it like that. Uh, have a wonderful evening. Or have a wonderful morning. Or have a wonderful afternoon. Because I don't know which part of the world you're living in. I know it's, you know, the Channel 4 Arsenal fans all over the world, but I don't know which part of the world that you are living in unless you tell me in the live chat. That's why I'm saying that. But just remember that this has been Canon Fodder, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world.